Time for a new weekly Patreon game brought to you by Morbug. Thanks for supporting the channel. We're going to be playing System Shock 2 for the PC. I've never actually played this before. I heard it's really good, so I'm pretty excited to play. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's get started, shall we? I'm just going to get this there so we can see the whole screen, and let's go. I uh, guess we'll do it on normal, since I've never played this before. Either normal or hard. How hard is this game, by the way? Hard or bust? Oh boy. Well, I'll let, I'll let Morbug this side, since he's, uh, he's the one watching, wanting. What is the difference between normal and hard? I imagine enemies are uh, more of a bullet sponge and we get more damage. It's usually that in old games. It's the options. That no, should be fine. Alright, let's go. Look at you, hacker. A p p pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? Also, uh, let me know if the audio is A-OK. -okay. In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess, destined to inherit the Earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. 42 years later. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment oh to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems. Nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the book? Extremely blurry. All you know is that it's a great day for mankind. All right. Let's go. Hey there, bug guy. How's it going, man? French, we are under attack. Oh, am I playing Half Life? Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN recruitment facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The graph shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the graph shafts. This seems to be the grav shafts. Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Look around. Hmm. It seems to be a bit slidey. Very floaty. 
All right, what do we have here? Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Oh boy, tutorials. Well, geez, that's to pretty cool. To pick up some basic skills you'll need to get by in the service, enter this Cyberlink booth. Inside, you'll learn the basic skills you'll need to get started. Welcome, trainee. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? That means you're in shoot mode. Shoot Detect. mode! This puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. What? This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Oh, okay. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground to the next training station. Whoa, we're pretty good at psionics. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the tab key. You can move items around your inventory by left clicking and dragging them around. To drop an item, Drag it from your inventory into the 3D view, and release the mouse button. Hmm. Oh, this is pretty neat. To use items like buttons in computers, center them in your view, and click the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar, and right click. This will activate the lift. Try it out. Oh. If you can still see your inventory display, it means you're in use mode. Hit tab to return to shoot mode. Well, that's fairly straightforward. The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. Right clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Your hit points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of your screen. Many objects in your inventory can be used by right-clicking on them. Feels very, uh, See the crate basic. In front of you? To search it, center it on your screen and right-click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right-click. To take an item from that container, simply left-click on it. This will automatically place that item in your inventory. To close the container window and return to shoot mode, press the tab key. One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. Click on the disk icon near the bottom of your screen to bring up the PDA display. Currently, the contents of your PDA are empty. Now, pick up the audio log in front of you. This message is coming from the audio log you just picked up. You can use your PDA at any time to play any audio log or email you've received. In the field, the PDA is also used for keeping track of your current mission objectives and obtaining help information. No, it's now fine it's by me. to learn about jumping and mantling. To jump, simply press the space bar. Some surfaces can be mantled onto by holding down the space bar. Mantling lets you pull yourself up to ledges and other high places in front of you. Give it a try. Well, ain't that neat. To climb a ladder, simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. What if I look down and I press down? Magic. Is that it? I guess that's it. You've done well. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. 
Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas of military service. Weapons training, technical training, and psionics training. Approach the CyberLink booth of your choice to train in that area. When you finish training in the three areas, proceed directly to the recruitment center to choose and start your military career. All right. All right, wannabe. If you want to learn the weapon skills it takes oh, to learn yeah. about joining the Marines, come on in. We're looking for a few good men. Giddy up. Good to have you on board. You'll notice when you're in the CyberLink booth, the UNN has kindly provided you with a virtual cyber interface and all the simulated skill levels you'll need for the training task. But don't get too cocky. They'll disappear once you leave the booth. Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key or hit the reload button on the lower right corner of your screen. Once you've loaded the firearm, take a shot at the dummy robot by pressing your left mouse button when in shoot mode. Notice how its health bar gets shorter as you shoot away at it. Seems a bit stiff, but I think I can work it out. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy-based items. Weapons, batteries, you name it. are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Green is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. You gotta maintain your weapons? Are you for real? What? It's crazy. Good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Take a look at the other training areas first before you enlist. They might just come in handy. Okay, let's go with technical inside we'll teach you the basics of some technical skills you'll need in the Navy oh yes okay welcome you'll notice when you're in the cyberlink booth we'll provide you with a temporary cyber interface and the skills you need to accomplish the training tasks but they'll only last so long as you're in the booth the object in front of you is a container of nanites nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks such as hacking or repairing. When you pick up the container of nanites, they do not go in your general inventory, but are instead displayed in use mode on the bottom left of your screen. Walk over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. hack. Left-click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the Start button when to ice. begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack, and you might break the item you're working on or worse. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. I have no idea what he's talking about. Okay. We did it! Yeah! Uh. Oh no. Not like this! 
You can use nanites to buy items from replicators. To use a replicator, right-click on it. Then left-click on the item you wish to purchase. The item you purchased will drop into the slot below. Make sure you pick up your purchases before you leave. All right, T, Earl Grey. Hi there, please make your selection. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Let me hack you. Oh, please, no more K buffs. Well, that was the simple. Basics of the technical skills. There are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the course of your career, such as repairing items and modifying weapons. The cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the hacking interface. Modifying weapons? Before you enlist in the Navy, try out the other training courses. They'll be useful. Modifying weapons? Inside, you will learn how to reach out with your mind. Do not let fear block your path. We've provided you with a virtual interface and the temporary ability to project simulated psionic power. The red bar at the lower left of your screen tells you how many psi points you have. Psi points symbolize the current ability to use your psi powers. Psi hypos replenish your psi points. Try using a psi hypo and watch. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Audio. Hmm. I don't know if I can put subtitles. Sorry. Your side points increase. When you've reached your maximum in side points, move to the next station. This Psy Amp amplifies your Psy powers Black and lets ops. you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psy Amp activates your currently selected Psy discipline. You uh, currently have access key? to two disciplines, cryokinesis and kinetic redirection. Go into use mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available Psy disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select Psy Disciplines from higher tiers. Use Cryokinesis to destroy the robot and Kinetic Redirection to pull that nanite container towards you. Be careful. Holding down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of Psy points, use another Psy Hypo. What? Okay, did not listen at all, so that's that's on me. So how does this work? Oh, I can change it there. Oh, that's practical. Come to me. What happens if you go max? Oh, you fry your brain. All right. Pretty cool. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area if you need more guidance. Before you enlist in the OSA, it would be useful to experiment in the other training courses. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. 
A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. All right, I'll let you guys decide which uh, which path I take. Either the Marines, the Navy, or OSA. Quick save. Okay. So we got Navy, Navy, Psy, Psy. No one, no one wants the guns. Okay. I'll need a I'll need a third one. Oh wait, no, that's the third one. That's hover. Okay, well, navy we go then. Navy boys. this do not block year one. Oh, hello the space station Chesapeake Bay, sailor. It looks like you've picked up some standard weapon skills at basic on Coronado Island. Now it's time for your tour of duty. Your tour will consist of four postings over four years. In this man's navy, you're given a choice of three different postings a year. It's up to you to decide what kind of career you want to have, so choose wisely. Just approach a shuttle bay to receive a briefing on a posting. If you think that posting is right for you, head into that bay to accept the assignment. All right. Let's go. Mission. So I imagine that's where we get our, our points. Giant arrows. The UNN Lucille is looking for volunteers for their military police detachment. Those sailors can get pretty rowdy on these year long cruises. So you better not be afraid of a tussle. All right, so we get one modify, one strength in the Lucille. The UNM Lucille is looking for an engineer's mate to help maintain the ship's core oh, energy system. Military police. There's some heavy lifting involved. Engineer. Sailing, but you'll learn your way around the high tech equipment. The UNM Lucille is looking for an ops training officer to learn the ship's navigation and data control systems. You'll get your feet wet with the high tech systems but also expect some heavy lifting. All right, so ship ops, engineer, or military police. What do we go? Yeah, we all get strength in this one. I, I really don't mind either. Two for police, the popo. The UNN Lucille is looking for volunteers for their military police detention. Those. Oh. Ain't that adorable. First time playing uh, System Shock 2. Yep. Alright, we got one to modify and one to strength. Don't know what that does, but cool. <laughs> All right. 
We got tactical uh, training school. We have ordnance master, and we have navigator's mate. Let's see what it gives. Laverne, Florida, hosts the Navy's premier tactical training school. While maybe not as respected as the Marines facility at Fort Bush, there's a lot to be learned here. Plus two to standard weapons seems pretty good. The UNN Pierce is ferrying liberated political prisoners back home from their detention near Saturn. The Pierce has been assigned a detachment of Marines and needs sailors to load, administer, and maintain the arms on board the ship. Plus one to maintenance. Less, less than interesting. The UNN Carfax is undertaking a mission to examine a newly discovered Class B comet approaching the outer solar system. You'll likely pick up some useful skills working with the high-tech navigation systems aboard this newly commissioned heavy cruiser. Alright, so... Cyber, maintenance, or weapons. I know a lot about this game. Oh, well, I mean... I'd rather, like, go through it... Touch and go, as... If I, I do get stuck. Uh, feel free to help me out, but try not to spoil anything. Uh. Yeah, yeah, just just be un uh, unhelpful. Like, uh, tell me which the which uh, stats I should go for, and uh, from their detention near Saturn. The Pierce has been which ones are the most Marine. useless, and I'll probably get that. To load, administer, and maintain the arms on board the ship. Laverne, Florida hosts the Navy's premier tactical training school. Well, maybe. Bye bye. Zero G, zero G training. The Navy strongly encourages every sailor to undertake some amount of zero G training. A year at the Yamamoto Space Station in Earth's orbit will more than suffice. Plus two to agility. The Navy maintains a survival training school on the surface of Io, the third moon of Jupiter. Pros: There's no better way to improve stamina and survival skills. Cons: The 21.2 percent mortality rate. 22.2. The Navy's Mary Curie Research Facility on Aquinas IV is currently conducting research on a new strain of spaceborne virus that killed 220,000 citizens of New Atlanta. To lift the quarantine, new Atlanta. we must determine how the virus pierced the city's micro nanite shielding. All right, zero G, survival or research. The Navy's The Navy maintains a survival training school. The Navy strongly encourages every sailor to undertake some amount of zero G training. A year at the Yamamoto Space Station in Earth's orbit will more than suffice. I went with the first one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Call Tango. I thought I, had, I, thought I had an extra year there. They got endurance.
that a hunter? Am I playing Resident Evil in space? Restoring patient memory. Restoring memory. Restoring memory. Uh oh. Who am I? Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the Computer Ops Staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with oh, some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come that up to knows. deck four to meet me. Deck four. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable due to... Move! Take cover! I'm scared. Critical decompression hazard in the cryo recovery suite. Evacuate immediately. I uh, note this is the Steam version of the game. No, no mods, no nothing. The entire sector is depressurizing. The vacuum shield won't last long. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Move it! This place sucks. Uh-oh. I probably can check the... Key card. Great. I gotta change the access codes out of cryo -A again. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code to 45100. That should be easy enough to remember. Oh no? He's holding a shotgun with one hand. Uh, let's crouch in this. Well, we're gonna take a second and check what is crouch. Shift. Shift. Warning. Decompression event imminent. Please move immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power-driven devices in your possession. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. That should open the airlock door. Be quick about it. The vacuum seals won't hold up much longer. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. Oh, something about upgrades? I didn't, didn't listen there. Alright, what do we have? We got two in strength. Three in agility, one in cyber, one in psionic, and one in endurance. In our tech, we have one in modify. We don't know how to hack. Combat, we're pretty standard. And that's about it. To use the map, there's a map button. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh boy, that's uh that's a big map. We should be we should be fine, right? Okay. 
Okay, we, we checked the MFD earlier. Yep. Ah, if I have questions, I'm sure I'll, someone will help me out. Said something about stats. Oh, well, that's neat. Look at that. Okay. I'll try and do my best here. spooked. Alright, so we have access tech upgrade unit, we have weapon upgrade unit, psi and a stat upgrade unit. We have received four cyber modules. Punk. Put it all into guns. Really? I mean, I'll believe you, but I think you're lying to me. Okay, we have eight cyber modules. So endurance is my health. This is costing me 11. Okay. What do we have here? We have no one hacking, nothing in repair, nothing in maintenance, nothing in re research, but we can't get anything. And modify would cost us six. We only have eight. What is research? Determines the efficiency of your research. Researching alien organs can yield useful information. And some items cannot be used without first being researched. We can't get research unless, you know, I I keep my points and later on, well, we can't get more points into that anyways. Psi, oh, we could get some Psi power, but we don't have the first, first neural capacity. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff in this. Jeez. Regeneration, man, I would go for that. So I was thinking maybe we get an extra point in end. And maybe an extra point in sib. What do you guys think? Good idea? Bad idea? Keep my points. Okay, guys, I can't go strength. It's 11, so it's either endurance. Or nothing. All right, I'll, I'll put one point in endurance. Screw you guys.
Ooh. <coughs> An amplifier. Well, we can't really use it. So I might drop it later on. Side disciplines. Yeah, we've checked that out earlier. Sir, smack the shit out of everything. Oh, okay. <gasps> Look at that. Something there. Mmm. Mmm. You know, if I had that Psy skill, oh well. going on implant job hey doc a security bot showed up with orders for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer i'm no cyber doc but i know a plant job when i see one i suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on citadel station but hey i just work here right what do i know Software. Ooh. All right, so we got some healing after our broken legs. That's fine. Computer hacking. Can we hack the door? I don't think we can hack the door. Yeah, we don't have the skill. Rip. Oh well, let's get out of here then. Spooked. A mug. I saw something. Okay, it's a corpse. Wear protective clothing. Is there armor in this game? Probably, right? Yeah, look, there's armor there. Got ghosts in this? I didn't sign up for this. I wonder if there's healing areas like in Half Life. Probably not, right? There's no way I can jump this, so. Let's go. Let's save. Zombies. I'm spooked. <laughs> Look at this guy. Get the hell off me. Unresearched object. Ew. Let's grab it. Access denied? What? Man, I should have gone hacking. God damn it. Now we're missing out on everything. Oh, music's going nuts. Some chips. We're saved. Some liquor. I'm, I'm not getting out of here now. 
the log. Alright, so let's listen to the log while we eat some chips. Why is it that no one listens to me? The security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot hacked into the primary data loop last night and made Xerxes sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. I finally had to pull the voice subsystem offline. What would happen if someone with a real agenda got into him? Mate shaft. That insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. You can transfer power at the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked, and Xerxes is hiding the passcode from me. Dr. Watts should have the code. He's probably in the crew subsection. Grassi has the key to get in there, but he's in the medical subsection, probably near the biopsy lab. Now get to the medical subsection and find Grassi. Okay. What does that do? Potential threat detected. Potential threat detected. Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Avoid or destroy any security cameras you see. You can hack security computers to power down the cameras too. You're good enough, but don't launch the jaws or you'll set off the alarm yourself. Your corpse is useless to me. Okay, so basically it's like the first game. The, the computer goes nuts? Is that a banana? No, it's just a potted plant. A monkey? I would, but you... Is the monkey evil? Kill everything that moves. Heal myself. Okay, so we get ten health per. point of this. Nothing really, right? Unless I need to disable this. Probably not. Crates can only be opened by hacking. We cannot hack, so that's not our not our problem. Vers version one research software equipped. Okay. Whoa. If I'm, I'm faster. No, he's, he's 
pretty fast. You hit me for 10 though, that's a lot. down here body bag pick up another audio log so might as well oh. ever since we reached Tau Ceti the lab monkeys have been acting strangely nurse lesser picked one out of a cage to be brought in for vivisection and the rest of them I mean the entire group stood up on their legs and howled this wasn't just a random display it was a protest Hmm. This is locked. If I had a oh jeez. Join us! Oh! I'm dead. Watch out. Let's uh let's try that again. Oh which was better? The quick save or the autos? I think I quick saved. Further. Yeah. these trades you're right in the back that's right didn't have coke this time I feel like I gotta save a lot in this game, so I, I will do that. Though I will save like at every... I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Sorry, I gotta beat your face in. Oh, what? How do you outrange me? Gun It'd probably blow up the uh, the crates. Uh. Ever since we reached Tau Ceti, the lab. This mission should have been scrapped before it left Earth. 
We've been unable to contain the reactant coolant leaks on deck one. I've put an order requiring acid suits down there. I know you think this would cause a panic, but it's better than giving everybody radiation Tell sickness. Do you think your selection? No, there's not nothing really we want. We don't need bullets. Bullets would be nice, but we don't have a gun. Choosing value wrap. Thank you for, thank you for, thank you for choosing value wrap. Save some chips. Screw the ship. Delicious chips. medical card or the key card so I must go somewhere somewhere else have to say. I've been unable to get in touch with Delacroix. This place is falling apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. The leaks in the venting shaft shorted out the primary access channel, and that means we'll all be on auxiliary power until we can get it back up. That means all the lifts are out. Marie, where the hell are you? God damn. Somebody's hacked into this thing again. I'm gonna tell Delacroix. Medical hypo would be nice, but we can't afford it. That's going to be good or not, but... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of worth it. I'll reload and blow it up. Okay.
got hustled. Well, I mean, it's trade bullets for health, right? Pretty much. Medical stations over there, so we could. Uh, uh -huh. joined. Right. Something. I'm sorry. Hang in there, buddy. What does that mean? Well, let's do it. Is that like a reload? A revive? Crawl into that incinerator. Rather not. Damn. The power outage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before isn't in the vacuum now, I'm afraid. But there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. Join us! Oh. I missed like five times. Try that again.
sure tis. Oh wait, you. Marie, I've got to restrict access to engineering until we can figure out what to do down there. It's just too hot. I don't know where all the hazard suits went, so I'm reduced to bringing down an armful of rad hypos. Those damn things always give me a headache. Game cartridge swine keeper. What does that do? Well, I used it for something. Flag the court. Okay. Oh no! Alright, so there's one there. Two there. Could be either one, one, and three, two. Touches three, he touches two. One, 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 three. That means this one, that means this one's open, that means this one's a flag no the, no no because he touches three so means that 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 he touches two so this should be open now he touches five no four sorry so this absolutely uh, this is open, 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 open. Uh oh. Now, now we fall into the danger zone. Either that or that. And it's one of these three. Alright. I'll let you guys decide. One, two, three, four, or five. One, two, three, four, or five. Alright, we got we got two for three. It's only two flags. Oh you're right, yeah. Well that doesn't help us. No, it does help us. That means it's either there or there, because we only have one. So three would have worked. So whoever had three, congratulations. Now it's two, so one, it's either, and four. So absolutely should be this. All right, boys, one or two. This is the real deal now. One or two. Choose the right one and be celebrated as a hero. Choose the wrong one. Become 
become banned from the chat. Alright, we're gonna go with one. No! <laughs> God damn it! We were so close. We got corned. Energy recharger. Oh, we gotta find one. Where did we find an energy recharger? There was one at the start, but I don't think we can go back. I wonder if maintenance... Notes... I got called up around 0430 to help unload the shuttle coming back from Tau City. Kerenskin was there alone. Jesus, what the hell happened to him? He lost most of his hair, and you could see these lumps on the side of his neck. And that smell. I told him he should go see Dr. Watts, but he told me to mind my own business. Bloody da. Okay. Where was a power supply? Didn't pick that up last time. Now let's check the map. Must be something I'm not seeing. Oh, well, talking about stuff I haven't been seeing. Look at all these goodies hidden. You got an email about opening the door. Oh, did I? Down there. It's just too hot. I don't know where all the hazards 
I've been unable to get in touch with Delacroix. This place is falling apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. The leaks in the venting shafts shorted out the primary access channel, and that means we'll all be on auxiliary power until we can get it back up. That means all the lifts are out. Marie, where the hell are you? Damn. The power outage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid, but there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. Somewhere on this deck. Okay. Okay, I go in there. That doesn't help. charge Your song is not <laughs> ours <laughs> Silence the discord <laughs> right in the back Hey how come you're alive I thought I killed everyone Oh well this is cool To be honest, though, I, I really enjoyed um, the uh, Battle Tech Battle Mech games. What's it called? Battletech, right? Battle Zone 98, yeah. That was fun. I'll have to finish it on my own, though. Brigand was, uh. Ah, we haven't been there. this can I take the bullets out probably not I'll keep them anyways Californium osmium gallium iridium iridium Heed her advice, you don't want to lose them. Gotcha. Alright. Need to research anything? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Same here.
Got any research skill? Nope. Not yet. Ooh. So, what does agility do? Very strong vodka. Nice. This is Saxis. Remember, the unauthorized usage of firearms aboard the Von Kroll is a class 3 infraction. Okay, so let's see if I can blow up. I'll use the crappy pistol here. Check gets to decide build, right? Yeah, more or less. Because I don't know what's good or not, so... Like, if I was playing Deus Ex for the first time and you told me, Oh yeah, use Aqualung, I'd probably get that. So we're playing on hard, so take that into consideration as well. Cyber modules now. Pretty close to getting a new skill, I think. I think it was 12? 12 or 13. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Med was over there. Shotgun! Jam! Terrible. Jam. Spooked me. I think chapter like, so we're gonna save. Good, you've managed. 
charge to get into med. Now find Grassi and get the keycard to the crew sector. He's the one who monitored your cryo sleep, so he might be interested in joining you. If he hasn't been butchered yet. How's System Shock 2 pain? Oh, that's not bad. It reminds me of uh, Deus Ex a lot. Is there a oh, no. silence the Discord. Punk. Intruder entering medical sector A. Intruder, the many demands to know your intentions. Are you allied with her? Do you not know of her intentions, of her history? She once tried to destroy your species, and now you do her bidding. Intruder entering medical sector A. What is he talking about? <coughs> Sorry about that. Bottom floor filled with evil monkeys. Should I dial M for monkey? Angela, while it may appear that the lab monkeys are communicating with each other, I assure you it's quite impossible. You claim that one monkey signed the passcode for a supply closet to another, and the latter proceeded to open it. As I'm sure you know, there have literally been tens of thousands of studies of primate intelligence. There's no evidence of behavior even remotely that sophisticated. So either you've single-handedly trumped the entire field of animal behaviorists, or you're badly in need of a vacation. What the hell is that? Psychic monkeys? The true terror begins. Wonder if they can see this coming. Oh. Bag of chips. fully healed okay I probably don't need two psyops so you can stay stay on the ground and I'll collect that I can't raise anybody down in engineering with the lifts out I'll need to get down there through the emergency conduit in the Psy Annex I think the access code is in Watts's lab You will be running back here many times. Okay, well, I better. Actually, I better kill this if I'm coming back here. I don't need two wrenches, so I'm gonna drop one. Let's 
search the upper floor again. Okay. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't leaving just yet though. Overloading sigh. Spawn. You might witness some strange phenomena. Your R-grade cyber rig has an experimental perception enhancement that can theoretically detect residual psychic emanations. These emanations traditionally come from the recently dead. Literature might call them ghosts. I call them self-hypnotic defects in the R-grade oh, unit. Don't let it distract you from the job at hand. <laughs> Clang. So should I pick up multiple of the same object or I just need one? Oh no. Try me. Oh, he's coming for me. Clang battle. Club a monkey. Good. He's really good. There we go. Oh, they have open brains. It's messed up, man. Okay, I'm gonna go with you. Enough out of you. Oh, jeez. That's enough out of you. Man, we killed a lot of... A lot of enemies. He's planking. Oh, no! He grabbed me? Hit me by back from behind that. Oh man, another one. Enough out of you two. Man, how many monkeys are there? There was a, a bed here. Yeah. There we go. Bloody monkeys. Can of coke. Access denied. Some 
kind of joke. Hello. Ghosts. The light show. This is Xerxes. Why do you persist in your loneliness? I thought I'd just hit you instead there, buddy. <laughs> Someone's an alcoholic. <gasps> Armor! 30 def! Nice! What is this? Research software. Redundant software not installed. Here. Ah, screw it. What is a thought compared to a mind? Which your tiny individual cannot even conceive. Let's go. Haha, <laughs> tricked you. This is busted up. Oh, well. It's not actually that he's completely drunk. A bottle of bubbly. Whose idea was it to bring 150 chimpanzees on board anyway? The interests of science? What about the interests of hygiene? Does anybody have any idea how much crap 150 lab monkeys make in a day? Poor chimps. They come on board for the most historic mission of all time, and they end up being chopped into little pieces in the name of progress. Damn. Just waiting for the alarm to uh, shut off there, and then we'll keep on going. Should I break it? Guess not. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. 
Watts. Patient Watson died at 0240 of non-specific causes. Despite zero respiratory and brain function, the body is still displaying autonomous motor function, as does the parasite. At 0847, the patient even spoke to one of the nurses. Autopsy is set for 1630, and then we'll see what makes this Lazarus tick. Zombies? I need to be swinging my wrench at just about everything. Why? Okay. Clearly, I've gone insane. Me no like science. Must die. Two key cards, so there's that. Imagine this is gonna give me rad. Oh, jeez. I don't know what radiation does. Come back to life. That could also be a thing. Radiation kills you. Would have never guessed. Fun. Nice. All right, so distribute them to the engineering staff unless anyone gets a better idea. Watts also asked me to check on the replicator in the crew lounge. He says it's a hacker's paradise. Alright, so what do we have now? We have 23 cyber modules. We should probably level up I don't know where, though. Good. You've made it into the crew sector. Now find Dr. Watt's room. We have 
picked up a transmission from the surface of Tau City 5. I've been in negotiation with Captain Diego of the Rickenbacker, and after some coercion, he's agreed to go planetside as a joint venture. Imagine, this historic mission might even become more historic. First contact. And who is there to get exclusive rights to all media, patents, and land grants? Try optimum. Miri, I told you this would be worth it. <laughs> Break the airlock window and kill everyone. Could be a plan. Oh, that's what you wanted me to find? The uh, surgical activation key? Or was it this? Ten nanites. Well, it helps that the game is really very similar to uh, the first Deus Ex, which I played a lot. Uh, I guess we go back then. But yeah, uh, like I said, uh, if, if I forget something that's crucial like that, don't... Like, remind me to go back. I'll find it eventually, but... Oh? Like this? Grenade launcher? Is there another? No, no, no one's here. <gasps> oh no, I'm full of stuff. Full of garbage. Let's drink some cola. Drink some liquor. A whole bunch of liquor. Make your selection. Cigarettes? What are those? what are they used for? Someone's coming. They'll never find me here. Where is uh, what was the point of this room? I can't climb this. Shoot. Okay, that went well. That could have very easily gone wrong. Forehead. 
If I remove it, it could kill the kid. If I leave it... Final diagnosis beats the hell out of me. I'd love to refer this to Midorsky at CDC, but unfortunately he's 67 trillion miles away. and her stupid procedures. She's changed the code on the MedSci 2 sub-armory again. Now I've got to head back up to Deck 4 to find out what it is. Somebody's gonna frag her, but good someday. Okay, that, that line was awful. Alright, so sub-armory, guess I can't take that. And that's nothing I can bash. OS upgrades. Oh. Choose one upgrade. Okay. Damage from radiation is reduced by 25. Extra healing. Three inventory slots. Movement speed by 15. Each shot with the range non psionic weapon does 15% more damage. One-time bonus of eight cyber enhancement units. That looks pretty good. Allows the use of two implants at once. We're not really using implants, so... Hit points by five. That could, could be good. Increases all hand-to-hand -hand damage by 35. Ooh! Damn! Plus two to hacking skill. That that looks really good. I'd probably go for that or the hand-to-hand -hand damage or the speed. So far it's these three that I think. Overhand attacks. I don't know what that does. You can extract a site diagnostic repair module from any destroyed robot. You can use this item to heal 15 points. That could be also useful. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. We're not using Psy at the moment, so... Overhand attack needs to be charged, but do more damage. Nanite cost for making weapon modification is 50% cheaper. Well, we're not doing weapon mods, so... Auto map for each sub-level is always completely filled in. Uh, that I don't really care. Maybe that's useful, but... So either hacking, hand-to-hand, -hand, or speed. Speed to get away, of course, since we are a coward. Hand-to-hand, -hand so we can club less. Or we get our hacking better. Since we have so many cyber modules, we can get uh, hacking. Oh, we can also get the eight points. Aqualung. I don't think there is Aqualung, unfortunately. I'm leaning towards this. More damage is nice, but it's not... Like, we don't need it now, and we're probably going to find more upgrades later on. Movement speed. I don't know. I don't know. Or just the one-time upgrade. Because with the one-time upgrade, we can probably... We'd have 31 points. The overhand attack is also good. Okay. Well, instead of that, I'd probably go for that then. So this, 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 and this. Hmm... Well, it seems like hacking's very useful. Why, why do I have a jam? Go lethal weapons first before Smasher. 
Yeah. Because yeah, we are using the, uh, the, the wrench a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I think since we're gonna use, we'll be, we'll be using the wrench so much. Do mags do anything or they're just fluff? Cigarettes. Well, since everyone's dead, it's time to start chain smoking. Oh! That's an upgrade place. Oh boy, talking about upgrades. Your selection. All right, so tech upgrade. We wanted to get hacking, right? Yeah. Probably get hacking to two as well. And get plus one into cyb. Yeah. All right. That's good. I like that. We'll put a save. I should have saved before, but whatever. Well, oh, that mean we can hack this? No, we cannot. Hack the vending machines. Oh yeah, they said something about the one in the... Security forces have been alerted to your presence, intruder. The glory of the many demands your capture or destruction. It was in here, right? Hi there. Please make your selection. Hack three? What? shot them now. Excellent. So that's going to make it a lot easier to deal with them. Oh, is that the... Uh... We can hack boxes now. Initial difficulty. Hack skill 20. Final difficulty 65. Let's try it. get hacking at all. Oh yeah, how do I repair? Repair skill 2. Damn. So it's... So 
suit of light armor. Oh, we already got a suit of light armor. Shit. A bottle of bubbly. Sold. Which is better? It's the same thing. Can your armor be destroyed? Probably not, right? Can you hack the game pig yet? Uh, I'd have to check. Armor is indestructible. Made a huge mistake. I wonder if I can swing faster with more agility. Wow, you're incredible. Do you know that? I made this game where I tried not to make myself think about you. What a moron. I love you, Rebecca, and I've got the plan. I've been buttering up the cabinet to transfer me from the Rickenbacker to the Goodwill team on the Valbron. Pretty soon nothing will keep us apart. Calm down there, Casanova. Yeah, let's, uh, let's check our video game. Skill of six. What? Can't install emulators on it. Marie, I'm sorry I've been out of touch, but I've been working on that artifact Bayless brought back from Tau City Five. I've done a level three analysis on it. I think it's some kind of artificial intelligence. This is Xerxes. I've managed Remember, to pull an audio tag file out of the descriptions are in place for the good of all of us. All unauthorized database interactions will be dealt with to the utmost degree of the law. Marie, I think it's speaking English. Worth it. Mm -hmm. Oh, calm down there, monkey. Get a katana in this game. That's what I want to know. Terrible. Damn! Here I thought I was doing a cool move. MDF game players. You have not disappointed me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. This looks safe.
I think I, uh... I bypassed this jumping po- Ooh! Hello! What is this? Shotgun. Don't mind if I do. It's a fair shotgun and we've got slugs. That's that shotgun, right? I don't need a mug, right? Let's drink some vodka to celebrate and down we go. A cybernetic module now. Eh? What does that do? medical thing. Oh! No, it's not. Is it, is it that? Implant. Hmm. We haven't found implants yet, right? Seems to have a number on it, so it's probably probably burns out after a certain amount. Okay, <coughs> I'll check that out later. Should I, should I always keep it on, or should I just use it in specific areas? Oh yeah, should I keep my points to get a point in research? Maybe that would be pretty useful. I think we found everything in here, right? Yeah.
So do these guys always come back? Found a key card for deck deck two crew. Okay, so it's where I was then. Research and development. Oops. You know what I will do? There was something the map. Notes. R and D. R and D was in the main area, right? I think so. Beat your ass. Oh, wait a second. I will take that. So, where is RD? Let's check the map again. Uh, RD, over there. How do I get there? there. Don't need no chemicals. in here that I couldn't open. Aha! Let's go, super hacker. Mm, well, that sucks. Well, that's not gonna work. If I reset, does it cost me five? Jeez, I'm 
It's so garbage. There we go. I got uh, the uh, nanites that I used. Well, some of them. So I imagine I got like 55% to activate a node. Right in the neck. Something I needed to hit there. Hit something, I don't see it. Hi there. Please make your selection. You have not disappointed me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. All right. Well, I think we will call it there, though, for tonight. So, uh, pretty fun. Pretty, uh, it was hard at first, but I think we're, we're getting the hang of it. And we'll see you next week for more System Shock 2. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>